Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you don't, um, you don't have to worry about me making a speech. Thank you, everybody. It's, a, it's wonderful to be here. To my wife, Lorraine, my daughters, Catherine and Brooke, to my campaign staff, my campaign manager, Mike Bird, and all of you, and all of you out here tonight, Stephanie Knox, Debbie DeLuca, all of you guys, I can't even name you all. It, it's my good friend Barbara from Harlem, Matt Perez, who just moves us with his story about getting out of Cuba. It's just remarkable. It's remarkable to be here, thank you. But I want to tell you tonight, in no uncertain terms and with clarity, how we're going to win an election on October 16, 2013, and deliver the first Republican U.S. Senator in New Jersey in 42 years. We are going, we're going to throw away the campaign handbooks. We're going to shred the pollsters' memos, the strategist memos. We're not going to triangulate on a message. We're not going to parse our words. We're not going to capitulate to pollsters and pundits and to an elite core of talking heads in the media. We know what we believe in. We're going to say what we believe. And when we go to Washington, D.C., we're going to do what we say. Yeah. You know, who is we? Who is we? We are the people who build our houses, who grow our food, who teach our children. We are the carpenters, the plumbers, the electricians. We are the office administrators, the teachers, the factory workers, the truck drivers. We are the small businesses that are the backbone of this nation, that mortgage their homes, that build jobs and build the real economy in this country, not the government. We are the small business people that make this country great. We are, we are, to put it simply, we the people. Yeah. You know, I think Americans, I think New Jerseyans are tired of politicians that tell them what they want to hear, yeah. that nuance their words, that have focus groups to determine the best way to say it. They want to hear the truth. Yeah. They want to hear what we need for the future of this country. So let me tell you where I stand, because you may not agree with everything I say, People out there may not agree with everything I believe in, everything I stand for, but you can count on this. I will fight for what I believe in with conviction, with passion, and with total commitment to your liberty. Every step of the way. So here's, here's what I believe, and here's what you and I believe. America is the greatest nation the world has ever seen. It is the nation that has championed individual liberty like no other nation in the history of the world. It is the nation that has delivered more prosperity, more freedom to more people than anybody on this planet have ever seen, and we continue to do that if we have that opportunity. And you know, our state, our state of New Jersey has the best motto of any state in the country, liberty and prosperity. Because without liberty, you can have no prosperity. But that liberty, that liberty today is under attack by an exploding national government that reaches deeper and further into every aspect of our lives every day. We're witnessing it in front of us. We're witnessing those that will undermine our liberty for the sake of our, they say, protection. Bigger government, intrusive government, dismantling the American family as we know it, and replacing government job creation with private sector job creation. And you hear from both sides, we need the government to create jobs. We need the government to grow the economy. We don't need the government to create jobs. Give us our freedom, and we'll create all the jobs you can ask for. That's America. That is America. But you know, my, um, my opponent appears. Oh, and by the way, I do want to announce that moments ago, I got a lovely phone call from Dr. Alita Eck, who is going to join this campaign, yes. and her and her followers will join this effort. And I want to thank Dr. Eck for entering the race, because that's what democracy is about. It's about discussion and debate, 
But I'll, I'll tell you what, I really love winning. I will tell you. <laughs> I really love winning. But then there's my likely opponent, now I think the race was called, Mayor Cory Booker. <laughs> Mayor Booker did not call to congratulate me. But I'll tell you what, Mayor Cory Booker has an advantage. He's been anointed by Hollywood. The Hollywood elite, the Hollywood elite have descended from their your penthouse apartments in the uh, Bel Air Hotel, from the heights of the Hollywood Hills, to come to New Jersey to tell us who our next U.S. Senator will be. They will tell us, they have decided, but to the Hollywood elite that have anointed Cory Booker, the next U.S. Senator, the third U.S. Senator from California, you are nothing more than another rating point in a Nielsen rating. No. That's not what your senator is for. Your senator is here to fight for you, for New Jersey, for your individual liberty. And my opponent, Mr. Booker, sort of like the British troops that were held up in Trenton on Christmas Day, 1766, they had superior funding, superior everything, they had the whole British crown behind them, but they lost to a ragtag group of rebels, the American colonists. <laughs> Cory Booker, my opponent, has the support and the money of the Silicon Valley moguls who collect our data. They've decided who their candidate's gonna be. They're gonna have a party right about now. They'll have their big crystal goblets, their martini glasses up with their fingers in the air, toasting their anointed candidate. But they've never been to New Jersey before. They don't know what a real street fight is. They're gonna find out real fast. Real fast. And the difference is, the difference, the difference between Mr. Booker and myself could not be clearer. The choices for America could not be clearer. Cory Booker believes that Obamacare is not just good, but it is great. He wants to force Obamacare down your throat with its taxes, its fees, its mandates, its rationing, its rationing and more bureaucrats than there will be doctors by the time they're done. The difference is clear. The difference is clear. I will vote and work hard to repeal and defund Obamacare. Yeah. Now let's have an election. Thank you. Because, because I believe in America and the American spirit of ingenuity. We can solve and we can create and continue to build the greatest health care system in the world without the government in our way. And we will do that. The difference is clear because Cory Booker has been anointed by Hollywood so that they can bring to America what we now call Common Core Education Standards and he can lead the way. He will lead the way in the federal takeover of our education system where government bureaucrats will tell us what we will teach our children, how they will learn, and how they will be taught while collecting sweeping amounts of data on our children. Ladies and gentlemen, standing on each side of me right now are two teachers, my wife and my daughter, who teach children. Education is about a teacher, a child, and a parent. It is not. It is not about federal bureaucrats in their ivory Washington towers or the Hollywood Hills hotels telling us how to teach our kids. No, Cory Booker will stand shoulder to shoulder with the Federal Department of Education. I will work hard and lead the effort to defund and to put an end to Common Core curriculum standards in this country. That's the difference. The difference could not be clearer. The choice for New Jersey could not be clearer. Cory Booker supports the NSA, invasion of our privacy. Cory Booker can't wait to become friends with the agents at the IRS that are going after our friends, our neighbors. No, quite the opposite. I want to lead the effort to put an end and to dismantle the IRS as we know it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I built my business, my wife and I, mortgaged our house, risked our savings to build a business that we built from scratch. I employed a lot of people. I had good times, I had hard times, I had tough times, but I succeeded over time. No one ever handed me a business. No one gave me a Wall Street firm and said, here you go. 
get ready to run for the U.S. Senate. I'm beholden to no one. I have obligations to no one. I have obligations to you, my fellow Americans. Because I believe in this country, and I believe that we are at a crossroads, a time in history where we're going to decide are we going to take the high road towards liberty and prosperity or the low road to government entitlement where we'll be deposited on the ash heap of history. That's the point we are at right now. Ronald Reagan said we're just one generation away from losing our freedom. Folks, we are that generation right here tonight. We are that generation. So here's our plan for the future of the country. And in order to advance liberty and freedom, we need to embrace small business, not big government. We need a government that will protect us from our enemies, not spy on our friends, our neighbors, and our families. We need to embrace free enterprise, not entitlement states, big debt, and more government reliance. And we need, we must work hard to uphold that Bill of Rights, that great Constitution, to which so many hundreds of thousands of men and women have died in the field of battle for our freedom. We must hold, hold that Bill of Rights, not watch it be dismantled. No. No. There are those right now who will say, sacrifice your liberty for your protections. It's what's best for you. The government doesn't know what's best for me. We know what's best for us. As for me, I'll put it very simply, give me liberty or give me death. Folks, we need to establish. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Let me wrap up by saying this. Let's return to that vision of the American dream that so many hundreds of thousands of millions flocked to this country to participate in from all over the world. A dream that's based on a belief on individual liberty, individual reliance, a belief in, un in limited government that releases the unlimited potential of the American people. That's we the people. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to be working hard, working hard for you. And we, we need, we need to work hard we need to work hard. We need to work hard the next 63 days. The next 63 days. And after that historic win, I will be working hard for you in Washington every single day. Thank you. God bless America. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.